When you received your Donjo bait boat, unpack the box. You will see the following items. A boat. A remote control. Two batteries for the boat. Four batteries for the remote control. A boat antenna. A charger for the boat batteries. A charger for the remote control batteries. And a bag. Now let's move on to installation. Open the battery tanks on each side of the boat. And place the batteries in. The one with yellow connector is for the left tank. And the black for the right tank. Then connect the wires. After that, put the battery covers on. You will see the signs underneath the covers. Now screw the boat antenna in. Place the batteries into the remote control. And put the cover on. Turn the power on. Switch on the boat. Cabin door closes automatically and the signal lights on the back will be on. Now it's ready to use. Let's talk about the right thumb control. Push it forward. The boat moves forward. The front light will be on. Push it to the upper left. The boat turns left. The red signal light flashes. Push to the upper right. The boat turns right. The yellow signal light flashes. Push it to the middle, the boat stops. Push it to the middle left. The boat spins from the right to the left.
when you push it to the middle right, the boat spins from the left to the right. Push it downwards. The boat reverses. When you push it backwards to the lower left, the boat reverses on the left. The red signal light on the left flashes. When you push it backwards to the lower right, the boat reverses on the right. The yellow signal light on the right flashes. It's time to introduce left thumb control. When you push it forward, cabin door opens. It shuts in 10 seconds. When you push it backwards, the bait hook activates. Push it to the left, the left bait tank releases. Push it to the right, the right bait tank releases. This button is a master control for all lights. Push it upwards to switch off. Push it downwards to switch on. The button on the upper right controls front light only. Push it upwards to switch off. Push it downwards to switch on. Set VRA button to the middle level like this. If the boat deviates from the middle to the left, slightly turn it down. If the boat deviates from the middle to the right, slightly adjust it by turning up. Normally it stays in the middle. The VRB button is to adjust the settings for the voltage alarm. Turn it down, voltage increases. Turn it up, voltage decreases. This is the boat battery indicator. On the upper left, it's the boat battery indicator. This is the low battery indicator. This is the remote controls indicator. On the right hand side, this is the satellite signal. This is the direction. When you place the boat onto the water, the system saves its location automatically. When the boat is sailing, you can check the miles by pressing this button. You can also see the longitude and latitude of the boat. Press it again. It will show the distance in between the starting point and itself. The distance number goes up as the boat sails forward. If it sails to the fish spot that you desire, press this button to retrieve the records. You can press these two buttons to adjust. When you find your fish spot, press confirm to go through three different menus.
select Save. Hold the Confirm button to finalize it. Yes. Saved successfully. If you want to check your saved spot, press Confirm to select Retrieve. Press it longer. Press confirm again. Yes. Call successfully. And then the boat will sail to the fish spot that you want. During the sailing, if the boat gets entangled by seaweed, you can switch the back to manual mode. Exit. Press the Confirm button. Press Confirm again. Yes. Now you have exited. Now you can control it manually.